Wow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're on the shores of Lake Ontario in Alcott Beach, New York, for the Time Traveler's Car Show. What a great setting for a car show. Beautiful park, big lake, and there's gonna be about a thousand cars here today. There is so much to see, a lot of diversity, so I'm gonna get down to business. I love these. I think I'd look great in it. I didn't Ready? do it. Hey, Joe, how you doing, man? Hey, Dennis, how you doing? You know, you guys, uh, you and your son, Joe. Yep. <laughs> I can keep you guys straight. True. Uh, have been after me for years to get up here. Oh, so true. But uh, it's worth it. What a nice setting. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been telling you. I mean, it's been always like this. And we started on the street with 50 cars. Now we end up with a thousand cars. Like 24 years ago, right? Uh, that's like when that? it started, yeah. yeah. Wow, man. Yeah. And, and this park, I mean, it's right on- Right on the lake. Yeah, Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario. You can see Toronto, too. <laughs> on a clear day. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> what's, uh, what's the name of the park? Coral Park. Coral Park. Yeah. And you, and you do, you pack about a thousand cars right. in here. Now, it's mostly folks coming from, you know, the New York area and then coming across uh, from, well, from Canada? Well, we get people from Canada, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Massachusetts, all over. Yeah. Well, there's wild stuff here. I mean, uh, there's some interesting cars up around here. Caddy with an attitude. A catitude, one might say a catitude. Pretty strong car culture in this neck of the woods, very right? Very much, very much. I mean, we have a roughly five month span for car shows and we pack it You in. just you get it all in All there. in at one time, yeah. <laughs> well, and you got these long winters to work on them too, right? So true, so <laughs> true. And it's the, the Time Travelers Car oh, Club. Yes. Check this out. Nice. That, that puts this on. Is it all pretty much all volunteer? Uh, we have a club of about 25, 30 members, and then we get their relatives to help and that stuff, and they love it. <laughs> I love it, too. And there are some great cars. Let's check a few of them out before we have to really get down to work. What do you say? That sounds good. Let's, Let's go. go. man. You don't see these very often. Oh, Ron. You were, you were coming in clear down there, and I saw this baby, and I get in my golf cart, and I'm chasing you, <laughs> and you don't go very fast in no. here, right? <laughs> and there's another car in between us, and I'm like, but I'm tracking you down, because this is a great car. She's a, what, a 31? 1931. And you built it? Yes, with some help from some good friends. Man, oh man. And, uh, you know, I mean, you've got so many great period tricks on this thing. I mean, you got, you know, the Edelbrock heads, beautiful. What's the, the carburetor manifold setup though? That's a little different. It's a hexagon tool and die manifold. They made a limited amount of them as a trial. And what's different about it? It's like it's it, like it turns the carburetors backwards. Backwards, okay. So that you can run a generator. But is that really a generator? No, it's an alternator that looks like a generator. Disguised as a generator. <laughs> it's got a Merck crank in it, which turns it into a Merck engine. It's a uh, 264 cubic inch. Uh-huh. What are the headlights? They're period correct guides. And you got it all the way down. And that's the ride height? That's it. Is it's she just, rough? Or? Oh no, it rides good. It no rides kind of like a skateboard. <laughs> what is the chop on this Six thing? inches. Six inches. <laughs> and, and Merck Dash, what year? 49 Merck. Jeez, man. And uh, what are those, Pontiac sweep spears on yes, the- Yes, they are. Wow, you've done it all here. How about the seats? Those. Those are kind of homemade. They were wooden theater seats for quite a while, and that got old, and we upholstered them. <laughs> so that's, I was trying to figure out comfort. the wooden armrest there with the carving in it, so that they were theater seats. Yes, they were. Yeah. Oh, geez, and the, you know, the roll job in here, it's just, man, it's just beautiful. <laughs> this actually- It's removable. So you've got, so you've you got know, like a full sun top. And it's got a great stance, because you've got big littles. Mm -hmm. You Frenched in the, the tail lights, lights and the license plate and the, the whole turquoise and cream. I mean, she's really beautiful. 31 rod, just a beautiful Thank car, you, man. Sir. Thanks, Dennis. Thank beautiful. You. Well, Les, it's really no secret that I'm sort of a studio guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> what they say. It's just no secret, but probably, I don't know. I mean, a lot of studies I like, but this is the 53. Starlight Coupe. Right. And this has got to be one of the prettiest cars ever built. In fact, to this day, I think it's one of the top 10 cars 
when judged by automotive designers, one of the right. most beautiful designs ever done. Yeah, everybody liked this design. It was something new. It, and it truly is new. It's <laughs> just, it's so sleek and so swept. And you know, coming up to the front and you got the, you know, the point here. You've played with it a little bit though, because yeah. that sure looks like a GTO scoop. You, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. There might be a reason for that. We'll get to that later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then these are the side, those are your air intakes. Air for the intakes. Ventilation. Back then, they're air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the windows down and open those babies yep. up. Yep. And then interior, uh, you've obviously redone it mm -hmm. with different fabric, but it's the original dash. Original dash. Um, to start it, usually a lot of people say when you turn the key, it don't start. Well, right beside it is a toggle switch. Yeah. You push it down, and that's how it starts the car. And, and it pops right back no up. No kidding. That's wow. stock. That's how they built these things. Now, they, I, it's you know, they did come with a four-speed. Um, you got a Hurst shifter in there, so it's right. modified a little bit. But again, just so smooth and so flowing. The yep. whole car. You know, and they they love these in... Uh, in Bonneville, because they, you know, there was a lot of speed records. Right, that Studebaker broke, and because they hold the uh, speed record today. Yeah, and it's, it's because they're so aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. you know, it's just beautiful. Now, you put that GTO scoop on there, there's probably a reason. Let's go see what that reason sure. is. Mm -hmm. Ah, ha! <laughs> so that, that's the reason. That's the reason. It's you, a, McCullough Supercharger. Right, out of a 57 Golden Hawk, 289 wow. Studebaker. So it, it is a Studi engine, it's a 289. Right. Now this would have had the 259 in right. 53, right? Right. But in the Golden Hawk, it had the scoop. Right. It had the scoop, so that's what they had to do to make this one fit. Oh man, that looks great under there. I mean, Les, this is just absolutely gorgeous. 53 Studebaker Commander Starlight Coupe. Right. Supercharged. Supercharged. Oh, <laughs> you know, this really is one of my favorite cars. I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> Thank you. You can come with me anytime. <laughs> Beautiful car, man. Thanks for bringing it out. No problem. Well, you know, Phil, I've been doing this show a long time, and I can honestly say I don't think I've ever done a Pinto. <laughs> and, I, yeah. and I'm probably getting some crap for doing this one, but I can't pass it up. Thank you. Well, first of all, it's green. So Thank you. You got, okay. that, you got you. that going for you. Thank you. Uh, but this car has got less than 10,000 miles on it. It's a 72 Pinto, right? 72 Pinto, less than 10,000 miles. I, just, I mean, how can that happen? How can that be? The original owner ordered it um, in Minnesota, and he kept it for a while, sold it to another gentleman, and then that gentleman sold it to the Ellingson Car Museum in Rogers, Minnesota. And it was on their floor for 10, 15, maybe 20 years. And then you got it off the floor of the museum? I looked at it, and I said, I have to have that car. I, well, you know, I, I understand it. I mean, it's... I mean, it's a Pinto, okay? Yes, <laughs> but I but, grew up with them. But it is, a, it is an absolute time capsule. Yes, it is, sir. It's absolutely bone stock. I yes, mean, sir. the grill and everything is perfect. Correct. The lights, the, the bumpers, I mean, everything yep. on this car yep. is like showroom. I keep it that way. Well, and then, and then let's add some more green. Okay. Let's go forest green interior. Yep. But this is also not a standard Pinto interior. No, this it, is some trick. No, this is a 73 interior that the gentleman special ordered. Yeah. And with all the ponies, ponies and, and the in the fake wood and the stainless steel, it's it's a it's a high end it's a high end interior for this car. It's a high end Pinto. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, it is. That's almost a contradiction in terms. But this thing is it's absolutely insane. Thank and, you. And uh, these look like Maverick tail lights. Yes, they are. They, they were the same. Yeah. They used them on the same. Yes, sir. Until about <laughs> I thought I recognized it. <laughs> until about '77, then they started changing things up. It's a Pinto runabout with the special interior. This is just insane. And it, I mean, is it the stock engine and everything? Yes, the original? Stock engine, two let's, liter. Let's go look at it. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's an overhead cam engine, yes, right? It's overhead cam, yes, sir. So, that, I mean, this is all came from the factory, markings yep. and everything. Markings and everything, bone stock. Um, I haven't had to do much to this car at all. I mean, it's just amazing, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I got to tell you, like I say, I think in 18 or so seasons, this is the first Pinto I think I've ever done. I'm not sure, but I think so. And I'll, like I said before, I'll get some black for it. But I, okay. it's worth it because this you. is a time capsule filled 72 mm -hmm. Pinto runabout with the trick interior. Unbelievable. Thank, Thank you, you, Dennis, it very Man, much. I love that Thank car. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, Ed, this is a real showstopper. An 80 El Camino. You don't even see many 80 El Caminos around anymore. No, you They're don't. They're rusted out, ratted out, and everything. First of all, it's beautiful, but it is beyond beautiful. I mean, you have done stuff to this I've never seen done to an El Camino. Well, thank you very much. How long have you had this baby? 20 years or so. Well, and how long does it take to transform it to this? Almost all 20 years 20 or so. Years. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The, the color 
I mean, is that torch red? I mean, yes, it is. Chevrolet torch red. Because it's really, I mean, it screams. And it looks brand new. I mean, the grill even, because that's not a cast grill, that's plastic, isn't it's it? It's all plastic. Everything is new old stock. We bought that stuff years ago and just put it on the side right from the Chevy dealer yet. So it's not any aftermarket at all on that. Wow. And uh, did it have rectangular? They had rectangular headlights, right? That's what right? they had. Those are original headlight housings, except with the, the different lenses in them. But I don't remember it having the bright work trim down no, the side. No, that, that's something that we made also. So you, you had to shape it to the fender. Yeah. And just a little striping underneath the tags in it. You do nice work, I gotta oh, tell you. you. But you didn't, I mean, you haven't changed the body itself. Nope. It's really stock body. Just cleaned up like crazy. But the interior at <clears throat> this is spectacular. What did you all, do? It's all upholstered. There's it's very little that's painted. The steering column and the frame of the no gauge kidding? panel is the only thing that's painted. Everything else has got upholstery on it. And, and I love the, you know, this floating uh, the console. console. Yeah, did yep. you design that? Yes, we did. Man, Ed. This thing's gorgeous. <laughs> and I didn't remember this heavy wrap rear window. It's all, all original. That is Everything is I mean, all that original. That is really slick. And and the bed, that's that's aluminum also? That's aluminum panels uh, with the stainless. And it comes out in five pieces. Man. And and again, just so clean, so smooth. No license plate. There's a license plate there, but it's under the bumper to start it with the vacuum, it drops down. Now, originally this would have been an 80, 3, 350, or what would it have come with? It came, this one actually came with a 305 in it. Okay, yeah, yeah. But and you've you've probably done some work there too, I would imagine. Oh yeah, we upgraded that also. Upgraded that. Let's go look at it. Okay. Holy mackerel, Ed, that's spectacular. <laughs> what is this? Is this plastic or? It's all aluminum panels, rolled, welded, and then fitted and finished. Do you do this? We did the fitting and the finishing. I have a, I did the painting on it. Man. So, so what's the engine hiding under there? This engine's a small 400 small block. What are the valve covers? I mean, they're really gorgeous. They're aluminum, just all custom made. Uh huh. And then headers, you had to make those just for this, or they custom? No, they, they were standard oh, headers. No kidding. No kidding. Yep. This is just an incredible piece of work. I've, I have honestly never seen a nicer El Camino. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I know you've seen a lot of cars. I've seen a lot of cars. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, 1980 El Camino torch red with a full ed treatment. Thank you. Wow. <laughs>Well, Josh, this thing is, I mean, this is just freaking crazy. <laughs> this it really is insane. This is a, what year? 1976. A 76. CJ5. CJ5. Gasser. Yes. I'm not sure I've ever seen a Jeep Gasser. So why, why a Gasser? Uh, just wanted to be a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You accomplished that. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? 20. And you're still playing with toys. Mm -hmm. uh, and you built a lot of this, you, what, you and your dad? Yep, we built it together. It only took us less than a year. No kidding. Yep. Is the frame completely different or? It's actually a stock frame. We only notched it out a little bit and beefed it up. Wow, well, that's not too bad. Yep. And, and I mean, how much lift do you got on this thing? It's, um, it's not actually all that lifted. It just looks really high because the body sits high. Yeah. Golly, I mean, it's just crazy. Too bad you ran out of room for gauges, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yep. What all are you monitoring there? Uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure, temperatures, boost. Um, nitrous pressure, a little of everything. A little of everything, and your switches? Uh, starter and headlights, blinkers. Man, oh man. And then dual nitrous, dual, just, just, when, just when in one, case. When one tank's just <laughs> not enough, right? Right. <laughs> Fuel cell. And then obviously, you know, you've got the wheelie bars, which I think is probably smart. Yeah. And how wide are these? 22 and a half. <laughs> I mean, this thing is insane. Yeah. And, you know, of course, it's, it's hard to miss the big honking engine. And we, we did kind of lowball it before. Let's go look at it. All right. <laughs> well, you know, there's really not that much of that hood left. Nope. Holy mackerel. What, what do we got here? That's a, what is a that? A Marine 460. A Marine 460. Yep, a custom tunnel ram. 871 Teflon strip blower, nitrous, obviously, and uh, dual obviously. 700 hotlines. <laughs> and then, then these, these uh, insane kind of, uh, the, they're not even zoomies because they, I mean, what do you call these things? They're headers, they're just straight up. They're just straight up. <laughs> yeah, they're just straight up. So, I mean, is this streetable? It would be if I wanted it to be, but, but it's too ridiculous. It is pretty ridiculous, Josh. It's a, 
It's. <laughs> I talked to the guy that would inspect it. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's completely insane. Right. So we got, we got a 76 Jeep CJ5 with a 460 Marine engine in it, blown to bits. Yep. Yep. I respect that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> nice you. work, Josh. Thank you. Hey, Alcott Beach, New York is a pretty nice place for a car show. And there are some really nice rides here. Western New York, you gotta check it out.